guys. Hey. Welcome to Entertainment Affair. I'm excited to be here with you guys. We're excited. Grand Hotel. Now, we know that there's originally the Spanish version. Mm -hmm. We know that was adapted into a Mexican version. Now we have the U.S. version. Everyone Takes version. Place. Even an Everyone version. version. Is really? Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. Takes place in Miami Beach. Yeah. I know that some of the scenes were filmed at the Fountain Blue. I lived in Miami. I love Miami. How was that experience filming in Miami? Oh, man. Crazy. It doesn't get much better than no. filming in Miami. Right? Yeah. I was stoked when I heard <laughs> we were filming there. Um, we actually ended up re rebuilding the set. So we shot in Manhattan Beach, and we uh, oh, basically okay. rebuilt the Fountain Blue to a T. Like, yeah, we shot the whole pilot at the Fountain Blue mm -hmm. in Miami, mm -hmm. and then they rebuilt and they it. And kind of just picked yeah, up yeah, over here. Just down, just down scale. the road, which, coming from Looks Australia, incredible. I was like, how did you do this? This is incredible. <laughs> but actually getting to film in Miami, I'd never been there before. Had you? I'd never been to Florida. Really? Yeah. 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 And so waking up in a hotel yeah. every... Um, morning and going downstairs onto set was incredible. Yeah. Was rolling out of bed and yeah, into yeah. the makeup chair. Room service, go downstairs. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> now tell me about your roles in this um, show. I know that you're one of the daughters, um, and then I think you work at the hotel, right? I do. Tell me a little bit more about that. We don't know too much about Danny. He he comes in as a new employee. He. Uh, much to the disdain of Mrs. P, his boss, he catches the eye of Alicia, um, and inevitably things might come of that. But he is there on uh, he is there on a mission we don't know about, um, and suffice to say that his presence at the hotel has consequences for everyone staying there and everyone involved in a hotel. So, is that kind of where the mystery comes in in the show? Yes, <laughs> it is. And yeah. you're for <laughs> um, Alicia is a young, driven woman. She uh, she's just graduated business school and she's coming back. She grew up at this, you know. She spent her entire life at this hotel. It's her family's hotel. It's where all of her mm -hmm. memories are. Um, and she's come back to sort of prove to her family and to everybody at the hotel that she's an authority figure and she's ready to, you know, to. Take, take some, yeah, yeah, exactly. Um, and she, you know, while she's trying to do, deal with that and, you know, make the sort of fine ways to rescue her family from the debt, which is something that she has just found out about, mm. um, she finds herself attracted to somebody she should not be attracted <laughs> to, and trouble ensues. Mm. Now, how is it filming? We have a Latino lead with Demian Bichir and mm -hmm. Rosalind Sanchez. Plus, we also have Eva Longoria, yeah. uh, executive producing the series. How was the experience working with all three of them? Oh man, oh, it was incredible working. With each and every one of them specifically, I mean, we could talk for hours. <laughs> yeah, I think I think each of them bring their own flair to set, you know, both on and off set. They, they I learned a whole lot from, from each and every one of them. We were talking before about Damian has this kind of old school artistic integrity, mm -hmm. which grounds performances, and and he has this you know vision and this drive to make everything real and very sincere. And in a show like this, where there's so much going on, that's really important to kind of have that leveled out, uh, I guess, realness and authenticity to each of the characters. Rosalind and Eva are just two of the warmest, most kind, maternal people I've ever met in my life. And, and funny. So funny so and funny. so extremely talented. So um, just even being around them immediately makes you you know, a better person and a better actor. So I felt very grateful for that. It's really cool to study them. Mm. You have a cast that there's women of color, uh, people of color, but there's also women that are writing. I was reading that there's about seven yeah. out of ten writers we, were females. Yeah, we had so, seven. We had seven female directors. We had a out of thirteen. Out of thirteen, we had a female stunt coordinator. We had two female first ads. We had a uh, DP, female, a female DP. DP. Yes, I also read that. Yeah, yeah. And, and which is very uncommon. A female executive producer in Eva. Um, yeah. And I think you know, that's kind of a, a precedent that should hopefully stay. And and Eva's kind of paving the way in that way and it was just very it was just such an amazing loving set because of it you just walk on and you feel yeah. warm and you feel at home and you feel safe which you know that that all comes from the top and it trickles down so. what was the best part about filming the show 
Oh man, the best part. That's oh. <laughs> that's hard. <laughs> How do we choose that? There's so many good parts. Though. Oh, um. Uh, look, I genuinely don't. Look, film, filming the pilot in Miami was just well, probably the best one. <laughs> well, I mean, I mean, it's, it's like just it's, so, it's something that no one gets to experience on yeah. any pilot um, or any show. So getting to experience that at the very start was wonderful. But I think you know we it's very rare to have a whole cast that actually gets on, has chemistry, likes each other, you know, the whole way through. But when we had we had eleven to thirteen characters. 11 to 13 actors on set most days and we all mm -hmm. just everyone brings a different you know part of their life and a bit of <laughs> a different part of them to yeah. set so some days you'd rock up and someone would be rapping and then another person would be salsa dancing and then it's just it's this like melting pot of culture yeah. on set and everyone mm -hmm. Is, is kind to each other. So uh, I think that was the best thing, the, the combination Absolutely. of people. Tell them, when does it premiere and what time? June 17 June. at 10 p.m. <laughs> 10 after p.m. The June 17th at 10 p.m. Thank you so much for Thank the in here for your time.